Uh. Hello everyone and welcome to Art of Cinema. You are in for a real treat. Today's film is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, come with me and you'll be, you know the rest. Or, 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 uh, what was it, what was it, uh, what was it? The surprise is terrible. I hope it'll last. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Where to begin? Well, you would think that a movie with Chocolate Factory in the name would be visually vibrant and colorful stimulating, which at moments this movie has, but for the most part it's dull and muted. I'm sure the people behind the making of this movie had a reason. No, like everything is not what it seems, or the grass is not always greener, you can't judge a book by its cover, y you know, one of those generic sayings. But I do feel that the moments that are vibrant and colorful stand out. The moment you enter the chocolate room, it is breathtaking. I know as a child, even as an adult, I would love to venture into that room. The other scene that comes to mind is the tunnel scene, which, as you may know, is the scene I chose to draw. Both of these scenes are so different from the rest of the film that they will leave with you after you are done watching. But visuals are not the only thing you will remember. This movie is also a comedy. This movie has jokes for all audiences. It is a very sarcastic film. I love this dry sense of humor. I would say it's almost British-like even though the movie isn't British. The way it sets up punchlines, then to give them in such an ironic way is so funny to me. This movie is hilarious without begging you for a laugh. It is something I didn't appreciate as a child, but watching it now that I'm older, I think it's hysterical. And this humor is all because of Willy Wonka. Gene Wilder gives a performance for the ages. His type of comedic timing and sarcastic undertones are perfect for the character Willy Wonka. You never know if Willy Wonka is being extremely sincere or completely untruthful. I absolutely love the way he can go from deadpan to irrational yelling with a flip of a switch. And these drastic changes in tone can come across as scary, especially for a child. This film sometimes reads as an old German fairy tale. I don't know what it is about children's movies, but they sure do love teaching life lessons with the fear of death if you don't listen. I remember watching this as a kid and thinking that this scene, the tunnel scene, was a very frightening and crazy scene. This isn't the only thing scary about the movie. The Oompa Loompas are creepy. They only really show up when the children are in danger, then give their life lessons through song. Speaking of songs, it would be hard to talk about Willy Wonka without bringing up the music. After all, this is a musical. The music is quite simple, yet extremely catchy. This movie was made in the 70s, but the music sounds more like 50s orchestra pieces. I do believe that this helps in making this music timeless. These songs could work in any era. I mean, I can still remember most of the songs, and even though the Oompa Loompa songs are a little creepy, 
They stick with you. You always remember them. Well, anyways, how about we get into some trivia about the movie? Now it's time for fun facts. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Lasers. The song Wonka sings on the boat ride, There's No Earthly Way of Knowing, are the only song lyrics taken directly from Roald Dahl's book. All other songs were written specifically for the film. Most of the chocolate bars were made of wood. The 53rd highest grossing film in the US in 1971. When Willy Wonka drinks from the flower-shaped cup and then eats the cup, the cup itself was made of wax. Gene Wilder had to chew the wax pieces until the end of the take, at which point he spat them out. The scene in which Charlie is running home with the golden ticket was the first scene filmed. The film uses various footage from other unknown theatrical films for the boat scene as tunnel images, including a spider, a giant centipede crawling on a man's face, a human eyeball, a chicken's head cut off by an axe, a chameleon eating a bug, and Wonka's rival, Mr. Slugworth. This has been Fun facts. Pew, 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 pew. Oh yeah. This movie has everything you'd want. A fantastic story, a lot of humor, great acting, and wonderful music. It is a timeless classic that you can appreciate and love as a child or an adult. I think this movie is great and certainly would recommend to anyone. And I know you're all wondering, what is he gonna rate it? Well, let me tell you, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. Let's move on and talk about the drawing. As you can see, I use color pencils for this piece. I haven't used color pencils in a while, and especially this type. If you are interested on the art supplies I use, they are down below in the description. This particular brand came in a pack of 12, so the limited supply made me want to do this scene. Thinking since this scene has a wide array of lighting, I could use more vibrant crazy colors, especially for his face. As you can see, that is what I did. I used red, orange, and yellow in his face. I wish I would have pushed it more with the vibrant colors. Had more of a contrast between the lights to darks. Maybe even added more green to his face as well. But having this perspective can only help me. Being able to see what I did wrong and grow from this will only help my art in the long run. Not all of this piece I thought needed fixing. I actually love the way the bow tie turned out. A lot of vibrant colors and some drastic contrast. This is what I would have loved to see in the face. And it is done. This drawing took me three hours to complete and was a lot of fun. 
Please let me know what you think, and if you have a movie suggestion for the next video, please write it down in the comments. And to help out this channel, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll be right here.